Howdy folks. We're now at the point of testing the timer to make sure the timer works and making sure that the water system is all watertight. So what we'll do is we'll turn on the water here. And what's happening is the system is pressurizing and the pressure differential is required for these diaphragm valves to shut off. So now she shut off, timer is off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open the timer and set the switch to rain sensor off so that any, so it ignores the inputs to the rain sensor. I'm going to run the system for just a couple of seconds, make sure she runs. Turn on program station one for a minute, enter. All right, now she's running. This can be used as a standalone fill. For I know that it takes 30 minutes for the water to go up from the bottom of a tile to halfway up the tile. So I can set this for 30 minutes and then let it run and then not worry about the pool overfilling. Our next job is to attach the wiring for the float switch system to the sensor area here. And when that is hooked up, then we'll flip the rain sensor input to on. What we're going to do now is stop the, stop the uh, valve and make sure that everything shuts off properly. And we're good. All right. Well, thanks for watching this and helping me make this better. And next job, we'll be adding the float switches.